Hi everyone, so I do hope you enjoyed all those three mating attempt videos that I made on uh, YouTube uh, recently. So we got some great successful attempts from the Pistriata, the Rosea, or Poteri as they call it, and the Pecanserides. Uh, I am getting the mail back on Friday, which is tomorrow, and hopefully maybe we'll see if we can get another mating attempt to see if the male was cooper will be cooperative. I didn't think he kind of made his sperm web, so I believe that's the reason why uh, he was not interested in Mia. Uh, so yes, this is a video review from Wizentrope uh, from Arachnoboards Canada. Yes, it's been a while since I last made a video review on our lovable form. Uh, I haven't been on Arachnoboards for the past couple of weeks because it's or past couple of months because the for sale trade section has been quite dry recently. Um, so uh, my friend uh, Montreal Kid ninety five on YouTube, uh, we came over. Uh, we looked at the teas. Uh, he wanted to see them, see the whole collection, and uh, we played uh, a really funny game called Goat Simulator. Oh, it's hilarious that game. Uh, yeah, and we went on the Racket Boards Canada just for the fun of it and he came across the species uh, that he said that really might interest me and it would be good for uh, our channel, uh, well, for the channel. And I thought to myself, hmm, I haven't seen those in a long time. And I think I saw this spider once on Tarantula Canada, it's priceless and it disappeared within five minutes. So that's pretty crazy. And this listing was posted back January so I didn't kind of have my hopes up because th that was April in time when I saw it so three months the guy may have sold it so I decided to take a crap shot and ask if if this tea was well this true spider is available and he believe it or not he said yeah sure do you want it? $75 I said Pfft. Why not? So he went on vacation. I mean, he stayed great in contact with me. He watched the temperatures. He made sure that I got a tracking number. I mean, this guy is really good to deal with. Uh, his name is Wizentrope. I'll be linking it on, well, the title of the video as well as the video description. I mean, great guy uh, from Ontario. And yeah, I'm legit really excited. But super nervous at the same time because this is any unlike any spider that I have dealt with in my 20 years of keeping. So uh, I mean, I probably won't give a hint on the title, but I guess everyone will go bananas on this spider. So if that is the biggest hint from you, then yeah. Oh, also uh, got a. Rigmopius psychedelicus tarantula. Um, kind of burrowed so you don't really much get much to see it. I, I decided to get it over a blondie because simply because it was such a striking color tea. Uh, this tea back in November was around $500 and considering now that they dropped in price and now they're becoming a lot more common thanks to uh, prolific breeding, uh, we can get these a lot cheaper. So it was $325 for a sling. It's, a bit more than I would pay for spiraling, but I mean, just to have you know a psychedelicus to get more exposure on the species, uh, you know, that's pretty good. And someday I'll get a blondie, but uh, when it becomes a little bit cheaper. Okay, so uh, he said that this is a female. I probably will uh, hold him a test to that. I will show you the enclosure because it's something that I really spent a lot of time doing and I think you'll really like the setup. Uh, this is the old uh, P. rufolata cage um, Osiris. I moved Osiris into the five gallon tank uh, that used to house my A. versicolor. I cleaned it up, freshened it up, washed it and she loves it in there. So this is pretty good for the species that I'll be showing you in the box. Uh, so I'll give you a little walk around of the enclosure it's you know it's pretty cool uh, so a eco earth a substrate with a water dish these are fake jungle leaves to provide cover since this tarantula or sorry this true spider does not make a shelter 
Uh, I have cork bark uh, because it is an arboreal. And uh, I got this plant uh, from the pet store. Uh, this is a bromelia fake plant uh, that is most suitable for uh, dart frogs. So I like this type of plant because the spider can rest on here and we could probably see it in uh, future videos and there's a little groove here so the spider also might take uh, some shelter in here awesome okay so now I also have two doors so it shouldn't be a problem trying to uh, maintain this spider very potentially <laughs> really cool present. All right, let me get a knife so I can open this up. Okay. Okay, insulated box inside. Pretty good. Nice, I like that. Oopsie, wrong end. Okay, what's inside this Chinese bowl? Prepare yourself. Okay. This is probably not going to be a happy spider. That, I can assure you. And the best way to transfer it safely is that I'm just going to leave it in there and crawl out on its own. Hang on, another call. Okay, fine. It's two more. Can anyone guess what the spider I got? It's showtime. Okay, easy. Oh god, and there it is. Oh, there it is. Mm -mm -mm. This is a nice size female. Uh, Funitria boliviensis. Not as venomous as the Thera, but this is definitely a spider that you don't want to mess with. And she seems to be alive and well. And she's just going to go without prodding. Make sure you close that door. There you go. Look at that. She seems to be enjoying her enclosure.
there we go, it disappeared into the sunlight, into the darkness. Alright everyone, that is a Brazilian wandering spider, um, or Peruvian, Fumatria goliviensis. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will be extra careful. Um, when I deal with this spider. I mean, this is why I did a lot of shelter in there, uh, places to hide, so she won't be that defensive. So, to Wizendrope, thank you so much for the package. It arrived healthy, and that's the reason why I wanted to postpone uh, feeding video 130 so I can get the Psychedelicus and the species. Wow, very first feeding video <laughs> that I'll do on this one. Alright, everyone, enjoy and. Thanks for watching.